Survivor Series was a professional wrestling pay-per-view event produced by World Wrestling Entertainment, took place on November 23, 2008, at the TD Bank North Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. It was presented by THQ's WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. The event, the 22nd Survivor Series, featured talent from WWE's all three brands, Raw, SmackDown and ECW. Six professional wrestling matches were featured on the event's card. The event received 319,000 pay-per-view buys, less than the previous year's event. The main event was for the World Heavyweight Championship between John Cena, and the champion, Chris Jericho, which Cena won by pinfall after executing a nephew. Another match on the event was the SmackDown main event, which saw Edge return and defeat Vladimir Kozlov, and the champion Triple H, in a triple threat match to win the WWE Championship. The undercard matches included The Undertaker vs. The Big Show in a casket match and three five-on-five elimination tag team matches. Background The event featured professional wrestling matches that involved different wrestlers from pre-existing scripted feuds, plots and storylines. Wrestlers portrayed a villain or a fan favorite character as they followed a series of events that built tension, and culminated into a wrestling match or series of matches. All wrestlers came from the ECW, Raw, and SmackDown brands a Euro a storyline division in which WWE assigns its employees to different programs. Advertising on WWE programming and on the Survivor Series promotional poster had foreshadowed the return of John Cena, whom a herniated disc injury had sidelined, at the event. On the November 3, 2008 episode of Raw, Shane McMahon announced that Cena would challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship at Survivor Series. Cena would face the champion resulting from a steel cage match between World Heavyweight Champion Batista and Chris Jericho, which Jericho won. This event marks the first time that Jericho and Cena would wrestle for a major championship since August 2005. During that summer, Cena defeated Jericho on two different occasions for the WWE Championship first at the SummerSlam event and on the following night's episode of Raw in a You're Fired match, a match that ended the career of Jericho, until his return on the November 19, 2007 episode of Raw. The main feud on the SmackDown brand involved Triple H, Vladimir Kozlov and Jeff Hardy, who were competing for Triple H's WWE Championship. At No Mercy in October, Hardy came close to winning the WWE title from Triple H but failed to do so when Triple H pinned him with the roll-up. Kozlov was one of the choices for Triple H's challenges at Cyber Sunday for the fans to vote, but Hardy won the poll and faced Triple H for the title, a match in which Hardy lost again. Then, after Kozlov demanded a WWE title match against Triple H on SmackDown, General Manager Vicky Guerrero put Kozlov in a match against The Undertaker on the November 7 episode of SmackDown, adding that if Kozlov won, he would challenge Triple H at Survivor Series for the WWE Championship. Kozlov won the match, albeit via disqualification after Hardy interfered and hit Kozlov with a steel chair. However, after seeing Hardy defeat The Undertaker in an Extreme Rules match the following week, Guerrero scheduled Hardy in a non-title match against Triple H in the November 21 episode of SmackDown, stating that should Hardy win, she would add him to the WWE Championship match at Survivor Series, making it a triple threat match. Hardy won the match and earned the title opportunity. However it was announced during the event that Hardy was found unconscious in a hotel stairwell in Boston, casting doubt over whether he would be able to compete in the match. Another feud from SmackDown heading into Survivor Series took place between The Undertaker and The Big Show. At Unforgiven, Big Show betrayed The Undertaker and attacked him, punching him in the head on several occasions. At No Mercy, in a match between the two, Big Show knocked The Undertaker out with two punches to the face and one to the back of the head, prompting the referee to rule the match a knockout in Big Show's favor. However, at Cyber Sunday, in a fans voted last man standing match, Undertaker defeated Big Show by choking him out with a goggle platter or Hell's Gate. On an episode of SmackDown, The Undertaker defeated Chavo Guerrero in a casket match despite of the Big Show's interference. On the November 7 episode, 
Big Show challenged Undertaker to a casket match at Survivor Series. Keeping to the Survivor Series tradition, three inter-promotional traditional Survivor Series elimination matches were announced for the event. In one match, Shawn Michaels captained the team of Rey Mysterio, The Great Carly, and Crime Time against John Bradshaw Layfield and his team of Montel Vontavious Porter, Kane, John Morrison and The Miz. The feud that led to the Team HBK vs Team JBL match began between Rey Mysterio and Kane over the summer then a couple of months later, the team of Crime Time started their own feud against John Morrison and The Miz. From the SmackDown brand, MVP and The Great Carly have had their own issues in the few weeks leading up to Survivor Series. The main rivalry between the captains, Michaels and JBL, began on the October 27 episode of Raw. When JBL attacked Michaels before a tag team match between the latter and Batista, taking on JBL and Chris Jericho. Despite of the assault, Michaels and Batista defeated JBL and Jericho. The following week, a match between JBL and The Undertaker took place, with Undertaker winning, after JBL was counted out. Moments after the match, Michaels threw JBL back into the ring, allowing Undertaker to perform a tombstone pili driver on JBL. On the November 10 episode, JBL retaliated when he helped Chris Jericho defeat Michaels in a last man standing match. Another match featured Batista captaining the team of Matt Hardy, Art Truth, CM Punk, and Kofi Kingston, and facing off against the team captained by Randy Orton, consisting of Shelton Benjamin, William Regal, Cody Rhodes, and Mark Henry. The rivalry between Team Batista and Team Orton originally started between Matt Hardy and Shelton Benjamin. On the June 23 episode of Raw, Hardy was drafted from SmackDown to ECW when he was the WWE United States Champion at the time. Then at the Great American Bash, he lost the US title to Benjamin. Afterwards, Hardy went for the ECW World Championship held by Mark Henry on a few occasions. At Unforgiven, Hardy won the ECW title from Henry in the championship scramble match after he pinned The Miz. Henry challenged Hardy for the title at no mercy but lost by pinfall. From SmackDown, Benjamin had successfully defended the US title against the likes of Jimmy Wang Yang and Jeff Hardy but has yet to defeat a truth in a non-title match. At Cyber Sunday, Benjamin defeated our truth in a WWE.com match to retain the US title. Then on the November 7 episode, Benjamin defeated our truth again to retain the title but on the next two weeks on SmackDown, he and Henry lost to a truth and Hardy in a tag match. From the Raw brand, then World Tag Team Champions, Kofi Kingston and CM Punk would have their own issues with Cody Rhodes and Manu for two months. It began on the September 1 episode of Raw, when Randy Orton appeared to belittle Rawa Euro unregistered trademark S champions, drawing then world champion, CM Punk out to the ring to confront Orton. At Unforgiven, Rhodes, Ted DiBiase, and Manu attack Punk, as well as Kingston who tried to help Punk. After they had attacked both Punk and Kingston, Orton made use of this opportunity to perform a running punt on Punk. In result of this, Punk was stripped of the world title and was replaced by Chris Jericho before the third championship scramble began on that event. The main rivalry between the captains, Batista and Orton began on the November 10 episode of Raw, when Batista invoked his rematch clause against Chris Jericho, whom he lost the world title the week before in a steel cage match. Stephanie McMahon, however, appeared in the Titantron to address Batista, alerting him that due to her brother, Shane's promise that whoever won the steel cage match would go on to face John Cena for the title at Survivor Series, she was unable to grant Batista his rematch request until after the pay-per-view event. Following this, Orton made his way to the ring, dredging up bad history from he and Batista's days in Evolution several years earlier. Orton then said that after Cena, it was his turn for a title opportunity, not Batista's. On the November 17 episode of Raw, Orton defeated Punk in a lumberjack match with the help of then WWE Intercontinental Champion, William Regal. After the match, Batista entered the ring and attacked Orton, leading all of the superstars present to get involved in what became an out-of-control brawl that ended the show. 
The third match announced was a Divas elimination match, in which Beth Phoenix led Team Raw composed of Mickey James, Candice Michelle, Kelly Kelly, and Gillian Hall, against Team SmackDown, which featured Michelle Mercoul as Captain, Victoria, Maria, Marais, and Natalia. On the October 3rd episode of SmackDown, Women's Champion Phoenix defeated the Divas Champion Mercoul in a Lumberjill match due to interference from Marais. The feud between Phoenix and Mercoul restarted on the November 17 episode of Raw, when Raw Diva, Kelly Kelly fought SmackDown Diva Victoria and was victorious. As a result of this, Victoria attacked her opponent after the bell before Kelly's fellow Raw Divas ran to her rescue. Aftermath after Edge returned and captured the WWE Championship, Triple H, Jeff Hardy, and Vladimir Kozlov participated in a Beat the Clock challenge for the number one contender's spot. Kozlov lost his match to Matt Hardy, while Jeff Hardy and Triple H each won their matches in exactly the same time. Due to the results, a reluctant Vicky Guerrero announced that Edge would defend his WWE Championship against both Hardy and Triple H in a triple threat match at Armageddon. At the pay-per-view, Hardy defeated Edge and Triple H to win his first WWE Championship. The feud between John Cena and Chris Jericho continued on into Armageddon, where Cena defeated Jericho to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. The day after Survivor Series, Melina returned from injury and resumed her feud with Beth Phoenix that began back in June 2008. On the December 29th episode of Raw, Melina won a battle royal to become the number one contender to Phoenix's WWE Women's Championship. At the Royal Rumble, Melina defeated Phoenix to win her third Women's Championship. After the SmackDown Divas were defeated at Survivor Series, Michelle Merkel began showing signs of a villainous turn, beginning with attacking Maria after losing a non-title match to her on the December 5th episode of SmackDown. Two weeks later, Marais defeated Maria to earn a shot at Michelle's WWE Divas Championship. On the December 26 episode of SmackDown, Marais defeated Michelle to capture the Divas Championship in a match where Maria was the guest referee. Reception The event was generally well received by critics. The Sun praised the shock return of Edge and his and Cena's subsequent World Championship victories. However they highly criticized the poor quality of the casket match and the Jeff Hardy storyline, which they regarded as tasteless. The Team Orton vs. Team Batista match was viewed as the best wrestling match of the night. Overall they gave the event a rating of 7 out of 10. Conversely, the event was voted by Wrestling Observer Newsletter as the worst pay-per-view of 2008. The event received 319,000 pay-per-view buys, down from 341,000 the previous year, which contributed to a decline of $4 million in pay-per-view revenue for WWE in the fourth quarter of 2008. Results, Survivor Series Elimination Matches, 1, 2, 3. See also. Survivor Series, List of WWE Pay-Per-View Events. References. External links, Official Survivor Series Website.